Oh, who have we got here? It's Ainu and Terry. What are you doing today? Ah, drinking tea. Mmm, tasty. Oh no, what's the matter, Ainu? Oh no, you've run out of tea? Oh, Terry, you've dropped your mug. And what do we do when we've run out of tea? We sing the monster tea song. What's in the pot? What's in the pot? Tell me, tell me what's in the pot. What's in the pot? Oh, look, it's Gary. Say hello to Gary, everyone. Gary, have you got some more tea for us? Wow, it's the monster teapot. Thanks, Gary. I wonder what's in the monster teapot today. It's a green leaf. The monster tea must have transported us to a tree. Oh, Terry, don't eat those leaves. Do they taste nice, Ainu? A green leaf. What could it mean? I wonder what creatures live up in those leaves. Wow, you're back! I was starting to get worried. I'm glad you got down from that tree, all right? Oh, and who's this? It's the goblin fish! Nice to meet you. What's that, Gary? Time for more tea? Do you want to sing a song with me? It's called the Monster Tea Song. We can sing it when we want to know what's inside the teapot. Are you ready? What's in the pot? What's in the pot? Tell me, tell me what's in the pot. Oh, 
What's that, Terry? It looks like green bugs. Oh, the goblin fish likes that. Next, Squid says he's going to take us to meet some creatures who wear cool jackets and have eaten all the fruits in his garden. And he's going to show you how to make one out of paper. Meet and make a transformer bug with Squid. Welcome to the Mollusk Planet. I'm going to show you some shield bugs. Shield bugs live here. I made one out of paper. Let's go and meet the southern green shield bug. Scientific name, Nazara virigula. In the US, these creatures are called stink bugs. When threatened, they make the place stink. It's a cool power. I wish I could do that. In the UK, they're called shield bugs because their body looks like a shield. The antony of southern green shield bugs have five seconds. So their family name is Pentatomidae. Have a go at saying Pentatomidae. Penta is Greek for five. Tomos means section. Pentatomidae. They can also transform. These bugs with the cool patterns may surprise you. They are actually young shield bugs. The leaves and flowers make good hiding places. No, no. These ones are older and getting ready to transform. What is this strange creature? This is a shield bug shedding their skin. Now the bug is green. Okay, it's time to show you how to make your own postable shield bug from paper. Materials. One envelope, paper, pen, scissors, glue, or tape. Feel free to pause the video or save it for later. One, lay the envelope on the paper so the edges stick out of it. Draw around it. Two, carefully cut out the paper. Take care with scissors. Ask an adult to help you. 3. If you like, cut a curved shape at the top for the head. 4. Draw two circles on some white paper. Cut them out. 5. Glue on the circles. Draw the eyes with a pen. 6. Make six stick-shaped legs. I drew a tall diamond shape and divided it into three. Cut them out. 7. Make two long curved antennae. You could draw them and then cut them out. 8. Glue the legs and the antennae to the back of your paper bag. 9. Fold up your shield bug legs and antennae. 10. Write a message on the other side. 11. Put the bug inside the envelope. Give it to someone who likes bugs. 12. If you're keeping the shield bug, then take them back out again. 13. If you like, you could decorate your shield bug by drawing patterns. That's it for this time. Bye from me. That was great fun. Thanks, Squid. What's everyone up to? What's in the pot now? Oh, what does that feel like, Gary? Oh. That looks very slimy.
Oh, I wouldn't try to eat that, Terry. Too sticky. Can you see what it is, Ainu? Oh, it's over in there. interesting time. Today I'm making slime from things you can find in your house. Let's get started. Oh wait a second I, I, I need to set the camera first. Give me five minutes. Hmm for the experiment we'll need some ingredients. But first, let's move some of these things out of the way. Mm -mm -mm, don't need that one. Levin's is bar you can go to. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, okay, go, go to the frame now. To the frame now, go away. Okay, okay. First, we'll need shower gel. Mmm, water, suds, glycerin, natural soapy goodness. Mmm. Next, we'll need some salt. We'll also need a bowl and something to mix the ingredients together with. Oh, and I almost forgot green food colouring too. It's supposed to be slime. Goes the shower gel. Next, salt, also known as sodium chloride. Little bit, not too much. And then I'm gonna add the food coloring. And now we mix. It's mixed. Oh, it's turning green. Ooh, do you see that? There's already a reaction happening. Look at that. Can you 
I see that. Ooh. Make sure you mix it together very well. Mix it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I think I'm going to add some more salt. Not too much. Maybe a bit more food colouring. Now, a super spin. Green, green, green food colouring. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the green food coloring. Look at that. And then we leave it in the freezer for five minutes. Okay, I'm back from the freezer. Oh, it doesn't really look a lot like slime. Let me have a go at mixing it. Maybe the experiment didn't work. Maybe it did. Ooh, look, at that. look at that. Look at that. That is slime if I ever saw it. Not very clear though. Still green, like bogeys. <laughs> Yay! Well, I don't know about you, but all of that experimenting has left me ooh, thirsty. Oh, oh no, my tea's gone cold. Oh, something's happening. Oh. I best be off. Bye. What's happening? Oh, something's in the teapot. Oh no, it's the goblin fish. What are you doing in there, goblin fish? They're running off of the teapot and spilling tea everywhere. No more tea for today. No more tea.